Hello everyone, welcome back to Mastering Options Trading. So let's quickly review what we expected and how did the market behave, right? So basically the expectation was from the weekly chart, I mentioned that if Nifty closes below the low of this candle on a weekly time frame, right? Below 24,070, then we can consider that as a bearish and bearish trades can be taken positionally. But that did not happen. It closed above 24,070, right? However, for us to take a confident bullish trade, I said it has to close above the previous week's uh, closing, right? Which is around 24,304 or above the current week's closing, uh, the, I mean the opening price, right? 24,316. So it neither closed above 24,316 nor closed below 24,074. So it, it's neither bullish nor bearish. It's a neutral sign for me, right? So if you look at the candlestick structure as well, it is kind of a doji only. There is indicating some kind of indecisiveness. However, one important thing is it appears that the lower wick is bigger, meaning the strength of bulls is more, but uh, the length of the upper wick is lesser, right? It appears that way, but how actually you should calculate is from high to closing, it has lost 390 points, right? But from low to closing price, it has gone up only by 332 points. So for that reason, we can say that bears slightly had higher strength because they brought down 390 points, but bulls could manage to bring up only 332 points. For that reason, we can say that it is slightly bearish. We would have been very confidently bearish had it closed below the low of this particular candle. So it's a neutral sign as of now on Nifty in weekly time frame. Now let's look at the daily time frame. So it has formed a clear cut doji. So again, nothing much to conclude from this. It's it's showing some kind of indecisiveness from here on, right? Now there are two cases which you need to understand from here what is possible, right? So first thing is it gave a down move, it went up, it has come down now. By any chance, Monday it forms a bullish candle and goes up, right? Then this would look like a W pattern. Whenever it breaks 24,500, it will easily trigger 200 to 300 points up move. Minimum of that can be possible if it forms a W pattern and gives a closing above the neckline. That is very important. Right? That is one possibility. What is the second possibility is market has gone down, has come up and now it starts to continues to fall whenever it breaks the low, I mean the, around this levels, right? So 24, 830, 850 kind of levels, then we can expect a further continuation of down move and likely it will hit the targets of 23, 650, 23, 500 kind of levels can be expected once this is broken. So we are at a neutral stage because of indecisiveness on weekly time frame and indecisiveness on daily time frame as well. So both the possibilities are are there in case of nifty right so weekly candle as i said if it has if it had formed a proper bearish candle it would look the very same right so fall then then it continued to fall that's how it would look like but that is not indicating now now it simply can mean that this is currently acting as the support it is holding up so it has fallen it is taking a pause and it may continue further that looks slightly higher possibility but there is no guarantee unless we see a daily candlestick indicating some bullishness as of now i would say it is slightly on the bearish side uh, not conclusively but slightly on the bearish side that is what nifty chart is indicating right now let's look at bank nifty chart and then we will see the data and other levels and everything else right so one other point on nifty is i put on the community tab around 11 o'clock itself in the morning 24065 was the support i mentioned nifty took support at 24066 24,260 was the resistance I mentioned. So it took a resistance at 24,276. As of now, market is volatile and within this range only. So no directional view as such, right? So that is why it is important to draw the levels accurately, right? So clearly if you see, it made a high around 24,260, that is 24,276. And here it made a low of 24,066. So that after that, nothing happened. It was well within this range only, right? So no trigger no trade got triggered right now let's look at bank nifty right so bank nifty let's go to the weekly time frame right so the same thing i have been telling in the last few videos it is clearly in a consolidation phase there is no big breakout or breakdown happening now the same level i will just remind you so 50350 is the key level 
anything below that it will trigger a big bearish trade the reason is as i said as of now this is looking like a double top here is one top and here is the second top and this is the neckline 50350 so anything below that will trigger a very good bearish trade on bank nifty right it can go to a very low levels of 49000 and below that is also possible but wait for 5350 to be broken as of now it is 5560 we are very far from it so we will not discuss much bearishness as of now we will say it is in a consolidation on a daily time frame right now let's look at the on the weekly time frame on the daily time frame what has happened is if i mentioned that this is a three candlestick bearish pattern ideally right so bearish candle followed by doji followed by a red candle however the 50 percent of this bullish candle was protected so it was not confidently indicating bearishness but now this particular candle right the recent most candle is indicating a confirmation that okay it's a bearish pattern and then again it has closed on a bearish note especially below the 50 percent of this candle i think that is what it is um, so it is indicating bearishness as of now on daily time frame on bank nifty so what can happen likely markets can go down either it will sustain here and in the coming days it will give a breakdown or immediately in case it reverses and closes on the higher side tomorrow then it would look like a hammer and then we will look for a bullish trade but as of now let it form another candle and then we'll decide but at the moment if one has to take a trade bearish trades are more preferable than bullish trades on bank nifty provided a flat opening right now we'll look at the levels and discuss the various scenarios right as of now if nifty i checked it is indicating close to so it closed at 24.117 it has closed at 24.199 here right so it is actually indicating a 72 points gap down so we will discuss the three scenarios in a moment right so let me minimize this first and let's look at the participants data so i have both participants data you can pause and take a screenshot and then compare with the conclusion that i have written here right index futures there is no major change hardly everything is around 5000 4000 only so for that reason i am ignoring index futures segment index calls retailers have reduced 23000 call longs so that is a bullish sign fis have added 77000 call longs so that is bullish pros have added 55000 call shots so that is bearish so overall index call segment is indicating some kind of bullishness index put segment is indicating retailers have added 80000 put shots so that is bearish fis have added 86000 put longs so that is bearish pros have added minor quantity of put shots which is bullishness overall if you see both the segments are kind of indicating a mixed view right so we will have to follow the charts in that case so it can give a double sided momentum so we will see how to trade that as well right so let's look at the levels so the key levels are 24105 is the immediate support below that 24025 and then 23895 to 23950 right this 50 points here will act as the key support it should not go below 23,895. Then very likely we are approaching 23,830, and maybe it is going to break down as well. So 23,895 to 23,950 has to be protected for now to avoid a further downfall. Else it is indicator further downfall, especially it closes on a lower side on Monday, right? So 24,025, 24,950, 900 to 950 will be the key supports. Upside 24,180, 24,260 bullish trades are preferable only about 24260 and then we can expect higher levels of 24365 and 24500 and all that is possible those are the key resistances on upside now what to do in case of a big gap down in case of a big gap down in case it is forming a bullish candle anywhere at this support or the following support then we may look for one bullish trade uh, that is possible right otherwise we will have to wait for some bullish pattern and not immediately jump to take a bullish trade that is very important right in case of a flat opening any close below 24105 or 24100 we can take a good bearish trade for at the moment right so since it is in a neutral side we will have to wait for one of these levels to be broken and then take a trade accordingly right in case of a very big gap down we will have to wait for some kind of a price action to indicate whether you should go for a bullish trade or if it is going to come up and then again if it breaks this support then we can take a fresh bearish trade i hope it is not very confusing and it is clear right so 
slightly it is more bearish on nifty and bank nifty daily chart is slightly more bearish compared to the uh, other time frames right so one trend line that i can possibly see on bank nifty is okay may not be from here so i'll draw it from here right so this trend line is approximately what it is protecting so it is it has been below this trend line and acting as the support if this trend line is broken then we can take a bullish trade on bank nifty else bearish trade is preferable why now again the same similar structure fall retracement fall immediately it has to go up if it were to form a w pattern or it will go down that is what it it indicates that this support is getting weakened and then it is further going down right so that is the analysis for bank nifty let's quickly look at wix india wix has dropped down by point i mean by three percent so unless it goes above 15.5 or preferably above 17.2 we cannot say anything of big fall as of now from wix now let's look at the cash segment right so fis have been continuously selling there is no stop not even a single day they have moved into buying so that's that will not give strength to the market maybe a few hundred points up move is possible but forget about all time high 25000 and all as of now there is no such signs looking at the cash segment data right now what about the option chain so this is the weekly option chain 14th november so if you see there is hardly any significant activity happening on nearby strikes far otm puts and far otm calls somebody has taken some positions but nothing significantly happening around this atm prices right and around 24200 the call open interest is higher indicating that at, at the moment the bears are having slightly higher strength as i mentioned right now let's look at the month end option chain as well once sorry not this one so yeah so 24th i mean the month and 28th november option chain it is indicating a significant open interest on 28 24000 strike right even on friday somebody has added significantly 24000 pe that means 23950 may act as the important support below that only it will trigger any bearish trade so as of now there is some strength looking at this but below 23950 it will get bad right so that is what the monthly option chain indicates so overall as of now everything looks neutral not nifty but preferably bearish trades especially if it breaks the support is what i'm looking out for right i hope this video is helpful please do like share and comment and importantly note that i will not be available on monday there will be no analysis video for sure so if there is anything important or i'll put try to put the summary or the levels key resistances and supports for Tuesday either on Monday evening or on Tuesday morning I will do that through community post right a video will not be possible on Monday please do like share and comment thank you all have a good day